So just before I hit the record button, and I've hit the record button 20 times, I always do this every time. I, every time I make a video, I always hit it like multiple times. So the, hopefully this is the last time I hit the record button for this specific video. And yeah, by the way, I am wearing another red shirt, but this is my Under Armour red shirt. It's not my foundation red shirt that I was wearing yesterday, which I know you guys <laughs> laugh whenever I wear red. Um, which is kind of funny. Red is my favorite color, if you haven't noticed. But just before uh, I hit the record button for the 20th time, on my way home from work, Sweetie actually had a live stream. During the live stream, he actually got in contact with the promoter, which is Nightmare Productions in the Tri-State area, that will be holding this fight. They'll be hosting this. This is a MMA event. I kept on saying it was boxing, um, but it's MMA. I, I don't know why I get those confused, I, and I shouldn't because they're two different things, totally. And with Sweetie's credit, he actually accepted. He seemed really confident, which both fighters are really confident. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You want two fighters that are confident, but are going to go into the cage and fight each other. I mean, it takes a lot to get punched in the face. I can't say, I mean, nobody likes to get punched in the face. Sweetie did say he's been in hundreds of fights. Uh, he said he sparred with Joe Rogan. He did say that on the stream. I don't know how true that is, but he said he did spar with Joe Rogan and during his fight camps. Now, I don't know if he can back anything these things up, but he did say he worked with heavy hitters and trained with uh, big time uh, celebs, well, not celebs, but big time fighters. Celebs is a little, I guess they're celebrities. I mean, you're out there, so you're, technically you're a celebrity, but we're, we're going to call them fighters out of respect. Now, sweetie, sweetie, now you did say throughout your career, elementary school, you said you started at six years old, you started wrestling. And you said you've been doing this for a long time. You said you've won quite a bit. Most of the time, that's what you said. Now, I can't say you didn't. I can't. If I did, I'd be lying. So that's my opinion. I don't know if you did or not. I, I would like to see receipts on these things. I would love to see a lot of receipts on a lot of things. But some of the things you were saying on the stream... May I rub some of your viewers the wrong way? Now, I was watching, um, you know, the comment section. There's a lot of people saying that Sweetie's going to rub you's face into the mud. I wouldn't say that, honestly. I, you know, I, 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 I like Chad. He's really cool. I just started talking to Chad just recently. And, you know, he's pre been pretty confident. And really awesome to talk to. Somebody in the comment section said, you must be in love with Chad. I'm not in love with Chad. I just think he's a good guy. And he's doing something really good for this community. You have to kind of root for your hometown heroes. Um, I mean, you don't have to. But he's been a pretty good guy. He's been a really good sport. And, you know, I, I kind of want to root for the home team. He's representing this area as well as the justice system. Even though this is his own thing, he is still doing something good for this area. And sweetie, you're doing good things for yourself. Now, this is really good because you guys both agreed the charity would be St. Jude. Now, that's great. That's great. Um, I'm actually happy you guys chose that. Um, I know... There was a disagreement with the, um, I think it was the Journal of Police uh, charity. I, I forgot what that was. Um, Chad might have to let me know about that. But there was no way you was going to donate to the police. So the St. Jude's is probably the best thing for that, which is a good cause. And, uh, you know, I, I hope a lot of people get their attention to this. I hope a lot of people show up. Whatever party you're in, 
if you're on Sweetie's side or you're on Chad's side, I hope a lot of people show up for this because this would be really good for this area. Now, now, you are very confident that you will beat Chad, but you also said that you don't know how it will turn out. You kind of cast a little bit of doubt on yourself during the actual stream, which I was surprised by. That did catch me off guard. So what I thought was going to happen, which didn't happen, not as bad as I thought it was going to happen, was you was going to trash Chad the whole time. You did call him a pig. You did say he was overweight, called him fat. Um, that did happen. But I hope you guys both train. You said you haven't done this in a long time. Chad has been training quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. And I hope this match ends up being good. And again, again, I'm happy that you actually agreed. I'm happy that you manned up and talked to the promoter. You're not going to hear a lot of compliments from me. You probably won't hear a lot of compliments from a lot of people in this area. But I'm going to compliment you and say, hey, good job for manning up and taking the challenge. Now, there are some things that are going to be working out throughout the months. There is an event in July. I want to try my best to stream some of these events here, uh, or at least make a video of these. Sweetie, I'm not going to attack you while you're here. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about me attacking you. Now, I wouldn't do it physically. But I'm not going to badmouth you the whole time you're here. This is going to be a professional thing. This is professional. And I hope, I hope this thing turns out really well for the both of, both of you. Now, like I said, I'm totally rooting for Chad. Uh, I think he has the upper hand on it. You say he doesn't. You say you will win. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Chad said this would be the one, what he called that, um, an eight-sided uh, lie detector. Is that what he called it? What did he call it? I, I need to I need to find out what that was. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Hang on just a second. Anyways, it's it's a lie detector, basically. I, I, I should have... I, you guys know I do this on the fly. I never plan these out. But anyways, this will be a good, good thing. I mean, to show if you are truly what you say you are. Now, like I said, you, you did say there's a chance that you could lose. And I compliment you for saying that. Because, I mean, that's a good chance. We won't know until September. Now, both of you, both of you will remain professional. I know you guys will. I, I hope you will. I really do. I hope you will. Um, I know there will be some bad beef, bad mouthing. That kind of goes along with it. Um, that will be a little bit of their showmanship. Um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as people would think, but I do think that there will be some, you know, bad mouthing because that's that's kind of what you do uh, when you're getting ready to fight. They kind of pump each other up. You you want to say some mean things to each other, but I, you know, from what I can tell, uh, Chad's been pretty professional. He hasn't really said a lot. Um, not not very many bad things. Um, you know, he wanted you to accept this, and you did. And you did. And I'm sure that this will be a successful thing. Now, I don't know if there will be thousands of people like you say they are. You do say, did say there will be over a thousand people showing up. Now, that is a possibility. But is this from your numbers? Is this from your people? Because you like to inflate the numbers. There wasn't a thousand people showing up to the Ironton Lawrence County auction. There wasn't a hundred people that shown up to the share the no gel signs. Nobody showed up for that either. 
we'll see. I, I, I hope, I hope this goes well, guys. No matter how this goes, hopefully he keeps his commitment. Hopefully he keeps his cool. There won't be any harassment. I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to be the guy in the middle. I'm not hosting this. You know, it doesn't really matter what I say. But I will be recording these things as they go. I will be having updates as time goes, um, as well as other things. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button. Um, again, Sweetie versus Chad Yu. It's be MMA all the way from Nightmare Productions here in the Tri-State area. Check those guys out, and we'll see you soon.